we are, I just need to uh, do properties here. No, 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 not that. What are we? They are. Oh God. Into a million shards, it's loud. It's steam driven inhabitants into space. Hard working folks known as Calbut survive by farming. Steam worlds is indeed a great game. I've, let me get, let me turn that sound down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've played the first two SteamWorld Heists. I did play a little bit of this game, but not a lot. Um, I was like, yeah, this is a lot, and I'm one day I'll play it. And maybe today is that day. Um, so, let's, uh, let's play this. Toggles between relative and direct aiming modes. Confirm guard. Playing some Zomboid on the second monitor. I will eventually get to Zomboid. I, that's another game I would like to play, and I know that people would like to see me play it. New game. Uh, let's do Experienced. Mission failure penalty 50%. Bonus experience. Okay, we'll do we'll do Experienced. across our turf in the outskirts stealing everything in sight they have even been known to kidnap the locals their presence could draw unwanted attention from the royal space force in short they are bad for business low on water piper and her mates have boarded a scrapper ship aiming to relieve them of their ill-gotten cargo and of course it all went according to plan Very good. So if you haven't watched the first two Steam World Heist games, um, this one's kind of a departure. Uh, the first two Steam World Heist games, or not Heist games, or Steam Worlds are Steam World Dig and Steam World Dig 2. Um, they're both platformers with a little bit of a, a mining exploration uh, mechanic thrown in. They're very good games. I wouldn't mind doing them uh, for the channel at some point. Uh, Steam World Heist is a departure in that it is uh, not a platformer. It is a um, turn-based kind of strategy game or tactics game, uh, almost like XCOM, but instead of uh, top-down, it is side-scrolling with a uh, heavy kind of focus on, um, you know, aiming uh, and, you know, directional combat. I finished both games. Yeah. Um, the, n not to spoil anything, but like the, the, the end of SteamWorld Dig 2 kind of sees like everything get destroyed. And so heist takes place like in the far future where like the robots from everything just kind of, they've, they've departed and they're spacefaring now, which is pretty fun. Blast. This did not go according to plan. What a positively macabre place. Look up. Is that where we have to go? Hey fellas, you alright? Right, better get up there and help out. Can we get up there? Nope. So we wanna we wanna go there. Press guard to end turn. F. Okay. Oh, you have to hold it down. Open the door. Confirm. A whole cow bot down here. Ain't I lucky? Mind if I help myself to some of your water? When I'm done with you, I'll use you for spare parts. Ha, you just try it, bub. Okay, so we're gonna guard here behind this uh, barrel. And then uh, aim gun. So you can see, um, we th like, there's a little bit of variation to our shot. We wanna, we wanna kinda aim things uh, like at the right moment. Oh, we can move the aim. Okay, we wanna move the aim. And then, and then confirm the shot. Headshots matter. I'm so compelled to install Heist right now. <laughs> Yo. Press guard to end turn.
I can't, holding buttons down to uh, to confirm things will never not trip me up. I will never not be like very confused by it every time. Turrets, fancy security for a hunk of junk. Bet I can cover behind that shot up shot up barrel. Okay, so can we sprint here? Yeah, so you have very, very, very XCOM combat. Won't be able to fire after a sprint like that. I'll just wait my turn here. And you can see them ricocheting bullets. Those are gonna come up later. Those are those are important. My turn, better amp up my gun so I can take that turn out with one shot. I don't want to trust another go covering behind this thing. Uh, all right, so we're gonna amp up our shot, power shot, and then move aim. Uh, fire. Okay. You get kind of used to the controls. I'm getting used to them now. Oh, is that one of our friends? You took your sweet time, Captain. I haven't r r fully... Uh... Hey, Sock, how are you doing? Cassandra. I actually haven't fully gotten into the dig games yet, but both Heist and Hand of Gilgamesh are both also fantastic, but also Departures for sure. I've heard, um, I, I tried a little bit of Gilgamesh and it, it is, um, it's an interesting one. I really want to like it because I have uh, very, um, like, uh, like I really like deck builders. And I know that Hand of Gilgamesh is very deck buildy, but there are things about it that I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy. Uh, sorry, I've been away. I've been playing a fun game online recently, and it's been good times. What, uh, what game? Tell me about the fun game. Um, Junkbot Metrovania? No, it's, uh, more like Junkbot XCOM. Uh, but I can see that. I can see, I, I can see that. Here I was coming to save you all, and where's the rest of the crew? I love the little sound clips. They're so good. They're, like, straight out of Banjo and Kazooie. I got scrapped and hauled off. I'm the only one left. Dang it, we need to get out of here before we end up in some scrap heap. Aye aye. All right, um, let's defend here. Now we're gonna start taking aim with our buddy here. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Oh, got got me. Oh, he shot my hat off. Um, so we can maybe do a power shot. Do we want to do a power shot? Do I want to get my hat back? I think if you get your hat, I think the, the hat actually is a mechanic in this game. I'm not sure. So can't, you can't really do much uh, with the shotgun. It's, it's, it's going to be inaccurate. Ouch. Hee hee hee. There we go. That being said, we are uh, slowly taking out that barrel. Can we fire from here on that guy? Oh, we can. Oh, nice. Need grenades if you have any? Uh, I think we do eventually get grenades. That's the, This would be the perfect game for grenades. There's our way out. Let's steal one of them escape pods. Toot sweet. Can we get this hat? And what would happen if we got that hat? Something happened. We got we got that hat. We want our hat back. Hat off, hat on. We got an, I got an achievement for that. I am enjoying this. This this I, I this is a cool game. Once you actually kind of get into it, um, there's some really cool stuff. Like you take on missions that are, I think, a little bit generated, a little bit procedural generated. It's like XCOM in that it will kind of give you some shuffled missions so you can earn a bit of uh progress and currency so you can get take on some of the bigger missions so this is where the the um the shotgun's going to be really good because we can hit him for all of that damage oh did he just like deflect that bullet what happens if i open this okay so opening that meant my my action was done we should be able to do some damage there. Okay, let's move up. Nice. 
Junkbot turn-based platforming. I don't think there's any platforming in this game whatsoever. I could be wrong about that. But I, I'm not sure. It's it's much more about kind of positioning in combat. Or, uh, um, yeah, positioning in, in uh, like, strategy. So I think we're almost done. This is basically the tutorial base. Oh, I, this is the exit. Okay, we're good. Seabrass. I've seen this game once before. Board the escape pod and finish the mission. Swag, collect, 100%. Th 360, no swag. Or all the swag. This bowler hat might be a bit worse for wear, but it's still uh, stylish, right? Anyway, it's better than freezing your scalp off. Okay, so we got a, a, a hat. And we got a swag bag. Few swills of water, the essential resource for steam bots. Interesting. We are getting an experience bonus because I am playing on experienced difficulty. Ouch, my internet. Oh no, I have had an internet. Oh no. Welcome back, Captain. Dang it, wonky. We won't get any work done with these scrappers hogging everything in sight. The no good steam maggots are even pilfering the parts of Anna's cowbots. We'll have to do something about it. They hauled off most of our crew back there. Gah, I'm still here. With the water shortage, it's a tough spot. No mistaking it. This puts us at a uh, at skeleton crew. What am I, invisible? We didn't even get that much water. We'll need more gallons to get back on our feet. I'll have to figure something out. Okay, ma'am. Oh, that's right. Our uh, our our captain is a is a, uh, a woman bot. I forgot a, I forgot that. It's actually really cool. Just set the course over on the map table, and it'll get us moving. I genuinely really like the uh, character designs in this game. Like this guy's got no feet. He's just part of the ship. It's really cool. OST of this game was fantastic. Yeah, the Steam Heist. The sorry, the the Steam World games are generally very good like they haven't really missed yet I, I i want to eventually try uh hand of gilgamesh to get a better idea if, if i'm going to like that game collect swag evacuate is this game like uh attack on tarkov because because it feels like it's tarkov no I'm that's a joke to basically infuriate everyone, including myself. <laughs> Technically, it's a platform with ladders. I mean, you're not wrong. I always figure the, the weird thing about platformers is it's not the platforms themselves that are important, it's, it's the jumping. It has to have some agility. And before you hit, hit me with VVVVVV, that game didn't have jumping, but it did have uh, precision platforming. Can you hear me? It's wonky. I've hooked up some uh, some exposed plumbing on this ship, so now I can speak to you. This should be an easy mission, nothing like the last one. Just grab all the gallons you can. Oh, and if you should come across any epic swag, make sure to bring it back. Try Fortnite. Try finger butthole uh, Fortnite. Okay, um, I actually don't think we want to get in there. I think that even though we could defend at that barrel, I think it would be better for us to... I guess we could have moved here. I don't know if we can have two robots in one spot. But we can get rid of that guy. Ooh, nice. He's a terrible shot. Can we have... Okay, so we can... We You can't have two robots in the same spot, so I'm gonna move this guy up, and he's just gonna kill that guy. So that's it. I love the... <laughs> The little physics of the of the dudes just like their their various parts just like falling and and breaking is really good. So what's in there? You think? Gun shoot must be a Call of Duty ripoff. You're right. Is this Call of Duty? Um. All right. Let hold on. Uh, I guess we can just guard. But I want to know what's in here. Uh-oh. Did we catch them on off-guard off at all? 
Okay, well, we got a crit, luckily. So they didn't get to attack us. So we got something. We got some epic loot. So we've collected one of four swag. Alright, so we're gonna want to move up and shoot this guy in the face. Did not kill them. Uh, we're just gonna have him guard there for now. Good. Okay. No, I don't want you to move. I want you to aim. So now you could do you can do tricky stuff if you don't think you can hit him, where you just like, um, like aim a ricochet shot and try and hit him in the back of the head. Oof! Got his hat off. Uh, we're gonna continue to have him there. This guy's probably not gonna. Oh, he's moving right up. Oh, he, he still missed. There we go. So let's have him collect the loot. Oh, there's a door there. I don't think we want to approach from this angle. I think we want to back up. This guy's going to move up. Oh, well, surely he's not going to have the... Yeah, he won't be able to shoot as well. So we'll, we'll just move here and I'm just going to execute him. <laughs> That was a, it was dumb of him to move up, I think, that that uh, aggressively. All right. There's a kind of a Borderlands thing going on in this game. You know, it, it has a little bit of a Borderlands vibe. So we should be able to kill this guy right away. Yeah, that was good. Get that last bit of swag. I'm pretty sure that's it. We're done. You should have enough water by now and we won't get paid for wrecking scrappers. Just pocket all the swag and head for an escape pod. Oh, do we not get anything for, uh, for, for killing dudes? Did anyone watch my, uh, <clears throat> in, in chat, watch my Druid Stone playthrough? I'm just curious. Or, like, you don't have to have watch the whole thing, obviously. Uh, but, like, watch any of it. Because there's a little... You know, I know this is also a kind of a tactics game, but... Um, some of what I like about Druid Stone is in this game. <clears throat> this must be the more part. What this? <clears throat> this is the, the more part. I appreciate uh, you reading that because <laughs> I was a little worried. I, I am going to play cut. I'm going to probably play this until uh, 1.30. Well, it's almost 1 now. So, you know, maybe about an hour and then we'll we'll, we'll launch into some cut. This is a Steam World to dig. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Steam World Heist. This is a <clears throat> two-dimensional uh, tactics game, kind of like XCOM. Epic Swag gives plus one reputation. We got some epic swag. We got a primitive but accurate lead spitter. What does that, what does, what it's supposed to do? Okay. We got some money. That's water. We got some water. And we got some treasure. Bronze teapot. Worth 800 water. What is this? Caves of Cud? No, this is the more part. Delightful curiosity. Rumored to have been worshipped at least three times a day following tender procedures. Found to bring a sweet payoff when sold. Uh, I watched a couple episodes. Nice. Um, I knew I knew Druid Stone wasn't going to be a, like a super popular playthrough, but I I really like that game, and I'm glad I finally finished it. New ability increases that. What we don't get to choose the ability, we just get an, we get more health. And then uh, Sea Brass here is going to level up. What do they get? Payback. Vanguards become enraged when taking damage. When enraged, their next attack will deal. Bonus, two bonus damage, I see. Hey, Vidi, how are you doing? We're, we're gonna play, be playing this for like an hour and then I'll play some CUD. <clears throat> and I am actually excited for some CUD because 
Um, the playthrough I've been doing for stream is actually like good. It's it's really good right now. That should be enough water. Let's head for Gat's bar and spend it. Yeah, I'd like a new cannon. Give me a trustworthy gun any day over an experienced inexperienced crewmate. I thought we weren't welcome at Gat's anymore. Well, now that we've got a few gallons to spend, and Gat's not an unreasonable fellow. Uh, all right. We can we can talk to our friend here. No, 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 no. What's? I think you've got enough water for now. Let's swing by Gat's bar and see if we can get what we need. Right. I just might have to charm Gat a bit. We can talk to our other friend here. You okay there, sailor? Yeah. This whole thing makes me steam boil. Uh, I'm so angry I could strangle a whale. That's horrible, Gabrielle. Such majestic creatures. You've never met a whale, have you, Cap'n? Uh, nah, not really, no. Shifty-eyed creatures, a lot of them. Only good thing about them, they're dripping with oil. Wow. Uh, I'm interested in watching tactics games, but Druidstones seem to be more fun to play on my own someday. Yeah, that's fair. I have a, like, I do wonder how fun are tactics games to watch. I do wonder that. But I mean, like, at the end of the day, I think I, I'd like to try, you know, I, I hope I provide more than just the substance of, or the content of the game. But I don't know, it's still something I'm working on. Um, came for the cut, staying for the steampunk robots. I'm glad. I, I, uh, I, I hope I hope that you're okay with this for a little bit, and then we'll play some cut, I promise. Water is currency? Is this a cud ripoff? Technically, this came out after Cud. It's true. Water can never be a currency again. Take that, tank girl. Jamie Hewitt, you absolute rip-off artist. You hack. How could you rip off Cud like that? Thought I told you to stay clear of this establishment, Faraday. You sure did, Gat. We just need to stock up after a rough scuffle with some scrappers back there. I've got gallons to spend. Just let me pick up what we need and I'll be out of your scalp. Ah, last time you left me with a bit more than you paid for, but I could actually use your help. Well, golly, now I've heard everything. The scrappers have hit us all hard. They even kidnapped Mosby, a moisture farmer nearby, a few days ago. Yesterday they stole this month's supply for the bar, and now I won't be able to pay the royalists' water taxes. Well, we can't have scrappers bothering the locals, and they should be rather flush to boot. Keep whatever else you round up, just bring my supplies back to me. I figure you owe me, Faraday. I like this guy. Or, or gal. Oh, we can recruit them, but we need more reputation. Oh, that's fun. Yo, this music, though. How about some new riggins? What? This game has no right to have, like, good music like this. This is outrageous. Increases your inventory by one slot, allowing you to store one extra item. Fair necess necessity and fundamental investment for any item collector. Okay, let's get that. We'll get that for now. Um, adds action. Restore two health. Okay, let's get one of those as well. Yeah, we spent our money. And we'll we'll get out of here. Uh, pretty much, but in space, probably why a big simple is so interested in it with water currency. Uh, you can't go wrong with steampunk robots, honestly. Music and bars from the band called Steam Powered Giraffe. Is it actually? I don't believe you. I swear, stack, swear on a stack of cuds. The art style in this really is pleasing. Is it actually by Steam Powered Giraffe? I haven't heard that name for a long time. The Royal Space Force will surely need to get involved if the scrappers spread much more. There won't be a safe harbor left for us in the outskirts if it comes to that. And let's go get, uh, go help Gad out and pay the scrappers back while we're at it. Okay. Okay. Let's go beat some scrappers and school this troublemaker that's been bothering Gad. 
but we're gonna have to do another mission to get there. Yeah, we will. Okay. Triple threat terrors. This ship belongs to a trio of terrible chopper class scrappers that have been attacking moisture farmers lately. The crew should stop them from kidnapping the locals. Okay. Oh, we can choose our loadout now. Um, let's just give... Oh, okay. Well, we'll give... Uh... Oh, okay, that, that you have to double-click it. Okay, we'll give Faraday basically all of the stuff. We could give uh, Fisherman B a different hat, but I don't think it's any better. And I like the beanie. The beanie's really good. Okay, so <clears throat> we've equipped them with everything. Piper's starting weapon has a laser sight, like all sharpshooter class weapons. Which one's Piper? Oh, is it Faraday or Piper? Or is there a full name Captain Piper Faraday? <laughs> I like that it tells us that we can open that. Oh, I see. We can't open that because we can't reach it. Okay, um, I'm actually... Since this guy is close range, we should have him open the door. Because he can just blast whatever's through the front door. When you have to shoot, shoot. Don't talk. What is that? What what movie is that from? That feels like it's straight out of something. We're gonna risk taking a shot from here. Also, I, d I don't have a laser anymore? Was that just for the tutorial? So we're gonna have this guy come up and, and shoot this guy, like, in the face with a shotgun. I think there is friendly fire in this game, so you do have to be a little bit cautious of that, but that was a good shot right there. Also, we have explosive barrels. You know they're explosive because they're red. Also, this one has a picture of an explosion on it. It even has the water bear in faction. You're right. Oh my god. What's next? Bears with, uh, with quills? Okay, Piper, you're getting, you go over there, we'll end the turn. Avast. Piper, uh, we don't really want to be near that barrel, don't, do we? That would be kind of bad. Let's go up, I think, first. Okay, well that's bad. In this world, there are two kinds of people, my friend, those who have with loaded guns and those who dig. You dig? I don't, actually. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, this is, um, this is a really unfortunate situation. I don't like this situation, basically, at all. I'm wondering what the range is of these exploding barrels. Like, if I shot it there, would it do a bunch of damage? Would it hurt us as well? Can we get him to back up? Okay, cool. So, if I shot that barrel, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, it ricocheted, hit the other barrel, hurt my main dude. Now he has uh, payback enabled. And also, we're taking all of the damage. Just all of it. <laughs> um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Piper go up here and take a shot. At this guy. Ah, nice. Nice. Um, here's here's my thought for this guy. He's going to do two more damage. I kind of want to have him walk right up to this guy and shoot him in the face. Payback ability is activated. When an enemy has damaged you, your next attack will do massive damage. Place crew with this ability in the front. So he's got five health. So I, I should be able to shoot him without honestly walking up. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We are probably going to take a bit more damage here. No, never mind. There we go. Nice. That went very well, except for the fact that Piper took a lot of damage. Fortunately, though, they do have a health pack. I'll use it. I guess, I, I guess I'll use it now. Regain two health. We'll use it. How do I use it? Confirm. Use. Okay, there we go. I did it. What game is this? Steam World? This is Steam World Heist. 
I laugh so hard if there were mutants that included bears. That would be really good. Okay, um, we may as well go over here. This is probably going to be the next area. You filthy beggars better have uh, protecting angels. Okay, let's actually get him to move back down here. Ooh, he shot my hat off. Um, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna move up here. And I'd like to use my power shot. I should be able to hit him. I'm gonna aim for the back of that, that, that barrel a little bit so I guarantee the shot. There we go. Triplets are killed. They are kill. That guy's dead as well. Perfect. Those death animations are so satisfying. Wow, that was a bad move. Guess they were trying to make you wait a turn until they were by the explosive barrels. Yeah. You can open those doors above you. It just looks a little different and you have to use the ladder. Oh, also I missed a door. I think I missed a couple of doors, actually. Yeah, you, hold on. Before before we move on, let's uh, make sure we get all those stuff. Also, I should get my hat back. I don't think it matters, but... Um, I, I don't know why, but I, I, I seem to care. <laughs> I'll just keep uh, Piper there and um, have our friend here go and collect some of the other goodies. Fortunately, there's nothing in here. There's like no baddie. And there's nothing in here. Cool. All right, so we're just gonna have a move back. Thank you for saying something. I would have I would have totally left the level without uh, getting that last bit of good. You only get the laser sight when you have a scope equipped, which your main character starts with. Most other sniper weapons don't have them, although they can be attached to some. Okay, nice. I got gotcha. you. Triple threat terror is successful. Get the water. Brass knuckles. A bar brawler's first choice when cornered. Leaves a plus one melee mark on your opponent's chin. A few swills of water. The essential resource of steam bots. We got a carry on Uzi. High speed bullet dispenser with a quick release. Don't be dismayed by the aim. Those bullets will spread just fine. Six. So we got a bit more reputation. We should be able to uh, recruit someone new. And I think I should before I join the next, uh, like jump to the next battle. Those triplets won't be bothering any farmers for a while. We should go teach the scrappers that took Gat's shipment the same lesson. Okay. So let's talk to everyone. We can't let these scrappers take any more of our turf. I don't like it, wonky. Much like Hall Rust, ma'am, they'll spread uncontrollably if not handled promptly. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Gats. That's a big looking ship, ma'am. It might be the best to enlist some more crew before taking on- Ah, oh, that was my plan, actually. I do believe I ran past a fierce young lady back at Gats Bar. And we just got a new weapon, so we can equip her with a Uzi. I do- I, I really appreciate how, like, the ship just kind of connects to the level. It's got this really, uh... Uh, it, like, it just makes sense, and it's very satisfying. Looks like you're no stranger to hard work. Ah, uh, I know how to handle myself around fuss. You won't find a meaner varmint killer anywhere in the outskirts. That's great, we could really use someone of your skills. I won't lend my gun to just anyone. You need more than gallons to buy, you need reputation. I've seen enough snake oil salesmen back at the farm, and Pa didn't raise no fool. Alright, well, we're good. How we? I'll be shooting fiends and heisting treasure, just like back at the farm. Can't, never could. Um, what's uh, what's that game? This is um, Steam World Heist. It's basically uh, 2D XCOM. 
I'm sure people who really like this game are maybe a little annoyed at hearing that, but I can you can you t tell me I'm wrong? Yo, tell me I'm wrong though. Do I have to buy another one of these every time I use it? One use per mission. Okay, so I don't. Th I think no, you don't have to buy it every time. But I bought another one so that another bot has it as well. Let's talk to our new friend here. So when am I gonna get to shoot some scrappers? Easy there, Miss Bolt. Just let me at him, boss. All right, let's let's go do our our mission here. Hats have percentage chance of canceling out one shot. I believe that varies on the size of hat, said hat. You can get helmets that cut down damage and don't come off. It is a neat game mechanic. That is really cool, actually. I really like that. It's it is weird to me though that it basically explained that not at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll explain it later. Uh, we're gonna give this guy. A health thing because he's gonna we're gonna want him to take damage he's gonna be in the front row basically and then we're gonna give um, our new character here uh, the uh, our Uzi because I think it'll be better it does four damage and critical plus two I think it is better than what they were currently using and why not we'll also give them no we won't give them brass knuckles we're gonna give this guy brass knuckles because he's gonna be in the front lines a lot of the time. Hi there. I hate XCOM, but this game, I like this game, so you are wrong. Okay, fair enough. It, it, I'll tell you what, I also am not a huge XCOM fan, but, you know, I like games like XCOM, so I don't understand it either, honestly. Uh, was here from the beginning, but my keyboard did not work, So, but now it does. Nice. How are you doing, bots? Thanks for, thanks for joining. Why would anyone who likes this game would be annoyed by this? Kind of nice to hear that new people. I I don't know. Uh, you know, like it's it can be a little bit frustrating to hear comparisons to other games that are not necessarily super accurate. And I get it, but you know, um, I like to mention these things because that way it, you know, I, I acknowledge it by acknowledging it. I hope I diffuse someone's frustration. And I know that sounds weird, but like it's just me trying to, you know, keep my keep my cards on the table. That doesn't make any sense, but, I, you know what I mean? It's like if I called something a Souls-like, um, and then I got the, the you get the, the, um, the sense that calling something a Souls-like would be frustrating to hear because, uh, you know, Souls is just everywhere. Every game is a Souls-like now, or everything is a roguelike game. Um, and eventually, uh, you just kind of have to, like, Play your card, yeah, it is a Souls-like, but I also know that it's not exactly like Dark Souls. So uh, hopefully you understand what I mean by when I say that it's like XCOM, but it's not exactly like XCOM. That fortified door is locked up pretty tight. I'm sure they keep their stolen goods in there. Gats wears. <laughs> Rant about genres. Over. The security system's powered by a generator. Wreck it, then return to gra grab whatever's inside. Okay. Wait, we don't want to do that. Can I undo that? And we'll go here. Sea brass is gonna go up front. Oh, we can't open this. Okay, we're gonna have him move to the front. This is terrible, terrible protection. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Uh, we can open this. May as well. So, here's the interesting thing. By opening a specific door, we don't know what's gonna be behind here, right? But by opening a specific door, we force them to move up. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if they can open doors or maybe do they prioritize going through open doors or going a safe way around things. Let's see. Okay, he's moving there. See, like, oh, okay. Well, to be fair, he didn't go through the open door, you know, obviously. But, um, what I'd like to do now is shoot that Explosive, but I think shooting it now would be foolish What's the best way to do this you think I don't want to go over here and then waste a turn. Can we get uh, Piper to Okay, we can get her up there Let's get her up there and then shoot the barrel from there might be good and then actually we could get Sally 
down here. Um, just just to get her safe for a moment. Um, our friend here, he's gonna come here, and I think he can just kill this dude. Oh, no, it's not a kill, okay. Um, Piper, you're gonna shoot that barrel. There we go. Sally, uh, let's get you to move back up now that it's safer and have you defend here. Nice. This is why Piper's hat comes off so often. It's a bigger hat. Problem though, automatic or burst weapons knock the hat off easily, but those weapons are very inaccurate. Like saying Caves of Cut is like GTA because it's open world and you can do whatever you want. Well, I mean, technically both GTA and Caves of Cut are sandbox games, so I mean, you're not wrong. But that's, you know, that's me being pedantic, but at the same time, I mean, that's kind of why this language exists. And I've I've taught ex I've talked extensively as to why that can be annoying, <clears throat> especially when you're part of the roguelike crowd and everything is a roguelike these days. I don't think it matters. Just, you know, I that's like uh, I, I we were talking a couple of streams ago about why I think that more specific terminology would be nicer. Like instead of describing the genre or the broad definitions of a game, you instead um, we, we came up for a nomenclature to refer to the mechanics of the game. Like tactics is a good, you know, game uh, idea, but like instead of tactics, you say like turn-based, uh, combat-oriented, you know, two D side-scrolling. Those those better define how a game plays than just saying like like this game is a side-scroller. Yeah, I mean it is, but there's other things going on. Anyway. All right, um, we can't get him to shoot anything. He can't shoot through walls, right? <laughs> kind of tempted to have her go up even though she can't hit anything, but I don't think that's gonna work. Instead, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna wait a turn so that we see what happens. Well, this is ridiculously good. Um, the thing is, though, I think that these robots are actually going to get in the way of me shooting the barrel. Yeah, they are. Um, hmm. Uh, Sally's almost dead, which is kind of a bummer. Can I have, I'll have Piper go there and then shoot, like, there, and it should ricochet into his head. Oh, look at that. That was pretty good. And then we'll have Sally come down and uh, shoot the barrel. Nice. That was good. I forget, what was the, uh, what was the criteria for opening this door? No, no, I believe there are melee weapons in this game, but they are mostly a backup weapon, like a wrench or something. Yeah, um, our friend here has one. I don't know how to use it, but he's got one. He's got like uh, bear claw uh, things. Uh, 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 spiked, you know, things. I forget what you call them. Bra brass knuckles, but they're just they're 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 spiked knuckles. Okay, interesting. There's a there's a barrel here. So what we're gonna do is um, back everyone up. They, they shouldn't be able to hit that barrel. Oh, but I can hit that barrel. So if I was to move like here and like try and shoot uh, this little thing here, uh, I think it would be just easier to hit the barrel. Yeah, it's like far and above easier. And I'm actually just gonna have it. Oh, we can ha see he could punch this guy, but would it be better to punch him or shoot him? I'm just gonna have him move down and then shoot him in the back. Easy. Is there anyone else? Nope. Pick up the the loot. And. Um, 
Actually, does this ha guy have any moves? He does. Let's have him move. Oh, no, we want him to be back. Hmm. No, she'll stay there. Piper will actually move back. We want we want to uh, see brass to be the one that opens the door because he gets the bonus if he takes damage. Holding my horses. All right, now you're gonna open the door. So we do have a we have a bunch of stuff going on here. What have we here? Pesky little cowbot sneaking around our ship. You tell him, cuz. You don't stand a chance. This is Scrapper Turf now. We'll trash you and make your pieces back to mother. Or take your pieces back to mother. Once Ma's through with her plan, not even the Royal Space Force will rival us Scrappers. And us Scrappers will have all the gallons. Right, just one more thing. If you have the same mother, how can you all be cousins? Shut up. <laughs> so we, do we want to shoot that generator? Or do we want to shoot, like, the robots? Probably we want to shoot the robots. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Everything ricocheted in like a very satisfying way. So I'm just going to have them wait a little bit. I, I might be able to make miracles happen here because this gun is a bit more accurate. Oh, no, not quite. So we'll, we'll have them move up. We kind of have to, right? Um, so we're going to have him shoot at the back here. And then hopefully most of those shots ricochet into him. Oh, none of them ricocheted. Okay. Hey, big. Hey, everyone. Hey, uh, Dimethorn. Uh, so I went out for lunch and realized just now that I had paused the stream. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I don't like this barrel here. That's, like, giving me an anxiety. Can we shoot this thing? I don't know what this, like, we, we want to shoot this thing, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, that kind of worked out unexpectedly. Um, okay, let's have Seabrass. Kind of want to have Seabrass, like, come up and shoot him. Okay, we're going to aim a little bit lower this time, and then uh, hopefully I hit this barrel. Alright. She's, like, really hurt. Actually, let's have her move back, and then I'm going to have... Can we have, um, already at full health, can we not... Can I not use it on someone else? I guess not. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Um, like we've got a bit of health. We have we can we can do some stuff. We'll use a power shot. Maybe that'll take care of this guy. Oh, that was nice. My hat. We'll just have her hold back because I think a, a, a well placed shot could actually kill her. Nice. There we go. Easy. So we still have to kill this thing, whatever it is. Did you just gender a robot? I did. They, But the, the game gendered her for me. So I, I know their proper pronouns. So I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being correct. Nice. Okay, destroy the generator. Countdown activated. Oh, that's not good. What did you do? Is that the alarm? Seems it's just a minor one, indicated by the lone symbol. Nevertheless, those scrappers will keep coming, so just gets, get Getsware and leave without further delay. Oh, no. Okay, well, that opened that door, so we know we had to do that. Okay, so let's grab that. I also want to grab that hat, because it's a nice one. I assume it's a nice one. Making assumptions of automations, but I'm not assuming the game the game said The game 
use them them pronouns. I, I don't I don't agree with this. Uh, okay. So we're gonna move up. Sally's gonna be on, unfortunately, in the front line, but we should be okay. Uh-oh. What? Don't tell me you get to attack me. Okay, you didn't get to attack me. This is, this is okay then. Well, this is a really, uh, honestly, unfortunate. Okay, that was actually really nice. Um, so... I can't possibly get over here, but what I'm going to try and do is ricochet a shot off the roof and hit that robot there. Oh, okay. Not quite, unfortunately. Sally's probably going to get hit here. Did the stream lag out just, just to me? Oh, no, I, I apparently dropped a few frames. Okay, we're, we're just going to kill this guy right now. Okay, we've killed all the robots. We just need to get the rest of the stuff and then leave. Have to reload YouTube. Oh, no. You better not get to attack me. I don't know if you get any experience for killing robots. <clears throat> it might be that you just get experience from completing the mission. If I was going to guess, I would say that that would be the case. All right, um, we'll keep her there because another robot's going to spawn there soon enough. There's uh, another robot. That's what we came for. Now get out of here before any more scrappers decide to join the party. Nice. Okay, so we'll make our way over there. I do want to kind of kill this one last robot, but <clears throat> I don't think it's going to benefit us basically at all. So it's just Piper that uh, needs to get over there. No, don't don't get a shot. No! Oh my god. <laughs> on the one robot that that was low on health. Okay, good. Well, that went very well. And look at that, we got a tricorn. A tricorn for the high seas. Embrace that this timber shiver and feeling that only a continental hack can provide. All hands on deck, yar. Got some water, got some water, got some water, got some water. Oh, gun. Carry on pistol. Poof ball hat. A, a nicely quilted wool ball beanie. It's fine trimmings will help you stay happy in the cold reaches of the outskirts. <clears throat> we got a scoped short round. Okay, so that's what you were talking about. This one gives you a laser sight. Uh, we can't open this because we, <clears throat> we need to hand it in. Commander Keen, back at it again at Crispy Keen's. Cargo secured, ma'am. Back back to Gus's. Yeah, we, uh, we'll drop off his wares and ask around about this mother boss. Clearly, she's controlling these crazies. If the scrapper gang keeps growing, we might just have a war on our hands once the dang royalists show up. Yar, living is hard enough without them gallon hoarding royalists rattling around. So what do, you, what do y'all say? Uh, one more mission and then I switch to Cud? You have to admit, it feels kind of nice to help Gat for once, ma'am. I've been a screw in his side long enough. Nice to be the good bots for once. Time to bail. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Are you here just for Steam Heist? It's good to have the solar wind at our back. Too bad we have to beat around these scrappers instead of doing our long run. Or is it just like time for you to go? 
Come on, being locked up like a chicken bot in a croup ain't fun. Uh, ain't nothing for us. Beating scrappers is what it's all about. <laughs> if only we had a nice pe bit of peace and quiet abroad. Okay. As many as you like. What game is it? This game is Steam World Heist. Always wanted to play Cud, but it's kind of intimidating, like CDDA. I, I, I promise you, Cud is not nearly as intimidating as CDDA. Um, and uh, you know, uh, if you come to my streams on on Tuesdays, then I'm always happy to uh, assist you with things that are are possibly vexing you, boggling your brain. Have you settled in all right, Miss Bolt? I know how to take care of myself. Ain't dumb, you know. Just making sure you're comfortable. We farmers know all about everything when it comes to survival. Alright. Bots in this game have personalities. They choose whatever they want to be identified as. Yeah. I, I would, yeah, that seems to be the case. But they've, I've, I'm pretty sure they've always been gendered. Like, uh, SteamWorld Dig 2, uh, you play as a, 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 a fembot. Let's get these crates back to Cat Gat and ask around about this scrapper boss. We have two new missions. Oh, is this a gun? Smoke and Barrel, the charismatic gentle bot running the Smoke and Barrel franchise is always pleased to charm and name arm cautious cowbots with rifles, pistols, and automatics. But played it and found it to be less of a learning curve. But Cud is is pretty manageable. As far as like intimidating games go, it's really not as bad as it looks in terms of like, you know, it's learning curve. I have Dwarf Fortress on my future. Please pray for me. <laughs> so you're back. I wasn't sure I could trust you, but you're not as bad as you let shine on, Faraday. And here I thought my self assured swagger had you fooled. I know we're not always, we've not always seen eye to eye, you and me, Piper, but we really need to stop these scrappers. You're right about that. I just need to find their boss and teach them some manners is all. You should talk to Taps. Wire at Lola's ba bar. She hears things and might point you to this scrapper's boss. That's in the colony. The miners weren't there aren't uh, rightly welcoming to bots in my line of work. They're, not, ju they're just not so fond of pirates. Keep fighting scrappers and I bet they'll let you in. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, we don't want that. I want this. We're gonna take another one of those. I wouldn't mind having another one of these. Sure. Uh, you know what? No, because uh, I want to check out that new uh, store. I know I was just making fun. You'd think robots would be less binary, though. You would think that. You know, I honestly don't think it would be a bad idea to throw a couple they bots in there. Let's head for the colony, see if we, we can get through and talk to this TAPS person. It must have been a tricky conversation that the devs had at one point. Wait, Gats Bar is here as well? That's Gats Bar. We can't... Oh, we can't go there yet. Okay. Uh, so let's check out this place, Smoke and Barrel. More of a Caves of Cut player. I can take as much time as I want while playing it. I don't think so. They had some controversy, but I think it's still under development. Speaking of CDDA, that's scrapped, right? Okay, so there's a controversy about CDDA that it got, it was almost scrapped. Tell me more. I'm, it's like, life is a point and click adventure and I'm just, always just, tell me more. Um, okay. In a rude and hostile society, let me be your counterweight, ma'am. Okay. So that looks like armor down there. I wouldn't mind having armor. How much is that? 150! Increases health by plus one, decreases sprint distance by one. Negative one. Additional tempered armor plating. Oh, it costs 600. My bad. Costs 600. Just barely don't have enough for it. Uh, there's some nice guns here, but I don't think I can afford any of them, probably. 200, uh, 800. <laughs> I could keep reading the value and not the cost. 1600 by Big Bang? No. Okay, well, we'll save our money for now. Hard to scrap an open source project, after all, that's true. 
Wait, revolver, good get? Get the revolver, you said? Uh, did I- did I critically fail by not buying that revolver? Was five minutes behind? Well, hold on, if I go there again, does it lo load new guns? Is this a revolver? Carry on pistol. Frontier shorty. Blacksmith sniper. Is, is this the one you're talking about? This one, I can actually afford this one. Is it worth buying? I wouldn't mind saving for the armor. Nah. Dumb controversy not worth talking about, to be honest. That's fair. I mean, there's enough controversy that we are forced to talk about every day. Oh, cough, Oscars. Um, you know. But like... <sighs> you know, we don't need to add more smoke to the fire. It was a epic loop drop you got earlier. Oh. That was a long time ago. Unless you want that. I just realized that I was typing giraffe wrong. Okay, so you are going to get that last uh, health thingy. We have a new gun for you? Not really. I kind of like the, you to have that shotgun. So we'll, we'll start. See, brass weapon slot is empty. What do you mean? Where's the shotgun? What happened to the shotgun? Oh. Oh, that's the default. Okay, yeah, that's fine. What happened with the Oscars? Oh, that's not. <laughs> let's, 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 let's not do that. <laughs> Countdown activated. All oh, right. Dang it. You've triggered an alarm countdown. When it reaches zero, a level one alarm will go off. Okay. Let's get over here and shoot some baddies. Okay. Um, we should be okay. Can we shoot him from there? Oh my god. Um, I'll be right back. Give me one moment here. I'm back. Hold on. I, this has been bothering me for like weeks now. And I keep not fixing it. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you. I, uh, I, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the BRB screen. Um, shotgun has the largest bullet. High power, but its accuracy bleeds off real quick, so cover makes it very hard to hit a target. I'm told I live under a rock. It was only where because I stumbled across it. <laughs> Talking, Listen, I, <laughs> I only mentioned it because I figured that everyone knew. Uh, I'm not actually talking about it. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to bring it up and then uh, not, not talk about it. I'll know better next time. <laughs> um, I like the shotgun because it's four it's four damage, and we we want this guy to be up in the front lines anyway. So it's just like it's just really nice. We have only six turns left. Okay. 
Let's get down there. We'll we'll cause a we'll kick the bees nest as quickly as we can. <clears throat> Best to rush an enemy position and point blank blast them with a the shotgun. Goes all out on his stream art. I uh, I eventually want to have an outro. I want to spend a little bit of time on an outro, but. Uh, you know, it takes time. If you ever wonder why the uh, the Caves of Cut tutorial videos take so long, it's because I did they're really <laughs> a lot of work, ton of work. Uh, all right, let's just have you come up and wait right there. Ooh, we can actually get a shot off here. Oh wow! Look, that could not have been better. That was so stupidly good. And he only took one damage and he's gonna get the payback. Honestly, let's uh, let's open some more doors. I know that's maybe ill-advised, but we're doing so well here. I'm just gonna have him back up a bit and then maybe they'll move forward. You're just gonna get like a ridiculous amount of damage here. Only three turns left until uh, until we have an alarm. This guy's doing the work for me. He's just gonna move up, and then I'm gonna come up and and hit him with that shot. Honestly, let's just like move up right behind him and shoot him in the back. Perfect. Um, let's have you move down like here and shoot this guy. Oh, that didn't hit it. Oh, bummer. Maybe I was a bit haste. I, I maybe I was too hasty with the. The click. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Did I miss a door? I really hope I didn't miss a door. So there's only one door left. We should be able to make it before the uh, uh, alarm goes off. What are you doing? That was weird. Uh, nobody would have even known the Oscars was going if it had not happened. I, I knew it was going on, but eh. I think there's some truth in what you're saying. Um, not a huge fan of any of this, if I'm being real. Can I, is this even going to happen? Can I shoot this barrel? That did some damage to the other barrel, so I, yeah, it wasn't like optimal, but it, it did something. That's all we care about, really. With single shot rifles and shotguns is that hats can completely nullify their damage if their cancel damage effect goes off. Man, this is like uh, not really ideal at all. I'm just gonna have them move into that guard and then attack on the next turn. This guy, I'm gonna have him move up. He's probably going to take some damage, but that's what we want. Oh, if we can have him shoot a little bit like this way, maybe we can hit that barrel. Nope, not quite. But we are going to kill that robot for sure. Oh, there's another robot. I didn't even see them. Ouch. Okay, we need to move forward. The alarm's off, so we're going to be hitting, getting hit by dudes. But they can bypass heavy armor and helmets, making it possible to damage them without explosives or abilities. I see. Let's use your power shot, may as well. Last dude. Oh, right. We're, oh, two at once? Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's just move back a bit. Okay, we should be good, actually. My pet rat says hi. Nice. Squeak, squeak. Hello. I used to have rats. I used to have a pet rat. I, that sounds like I had an affliction. Like, no, I didn't have, like... 
they they were consensually living in my docile. <laughs> Ooh. He a hammer and three damage to any melee attacker. Oh, that's garbage. Giving them a you can't touch this lesson in the process. Oh, but health plus one, that's nice. That's actually pretty good. Oh, and a small inventory unit, that's good. Uh, ooh, Dekeeser. Deceaser? Deceaser. I don't know why I would say Dekeeser, that's dumb. Night shooter developed during the Cannibal Wars. Chambered chambered for a multi-caliber maim of any aggressor. I, sometimes I read words bad. Big, you butchered that. <laughs> I had rats once. <laughs> New ability. Inspire. Uh, allies next her, which makes them, ooh, I love this kind of ability. Deal plus one bonus damage. So now she wants to be up like with as many allies as possible. Rats giving consent sounds even worse. Listen, I, I gave consent for rats to live in my docile. That's what I meant. Armor is usually always good. Oh, nice. Health. Extra health. I both like and dislike... This is this is the definition of ambivalence, by the way. I both having two conflicting emotions about the fact that I can not choose a new ability. Like we get new abilities, but we don't get to choose them, and I don't know if they're random or not. I guess that question mark means no. That question mark could either mean that it's random or that we don't know what it is. Right? When bounty hunters deliver a fatal shot to an enemy. They get one additional shot. Only works once per turn and only when using regular attacks. Okay. That's actually really cool. So she she's going to get an extra shot whenever she kills someone. That's a, It's a good thing we gave her the Uzi, huh? Let's see if rumors of our daring deeds have spread into the colony. Those dirty rock shovelers are so smug behind their armed belt of asteroids. Wow. That sound downright derogatory dirty mining bots they've been stop calling them that that's not okay <laughs> they've been keeping us out of the colony for years to be fair we're not the most trustworthy on account of the smuggling and occasional stealing and such just because we borrowed some gallons here and there yes the colony seems like a decent enough place once we're done with the scrapper business, I might just use some use my share to buy a plot of colony rock. I hate to admit it, but even you're too good for the likes of them rock pickers. You gotta stop right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, throw you right out the airlock. Not that that matters, man. It, I guess it would really suck being a robot in in a spacefaring uh, society because if you did did get like thrown out the airlock, you would survive. For a little while, anyway. I know that they need fuel as well, but... Locals are sure down on their luck with all these scrappers harassing them. Handling as many as possible is a good thing. However, did they grow so fast? Who would volunteer to join these crazies? Hey, has anyone done a concept of, uh... Like, a marauding space crew, uh... Manned by, like, robot people? And, uh, they basically... Anyone that, like double cross them they would just bolt them to the outside of the ship so that they would serve as extra armor has that concept been done yet and then they just have a bunch of like screaming robots bolted onto the outside of the ship imagine getting bolted on the ship next to uh, someone that you didn't like uzi is terrible for dealing with armor though so much sure you have folks that can deal with armor okay i gotcha Extra shots with an automatic weapon. Yep, definitely a great bonus. All right. So, uh, by the way, Luke Moss, I'm glad that uh, I appreciate the extra advice on this game. I think I will be continuing this game next week. Um, but I'm going to move on to Caves of Cut, if that's okay. 